Okay, YouTube, I realized that I probably didn't include enough details in my first video. So I've made a second video that works through the if this then that IFTTT configuration a bit in a bit more detail. So I'll talk you through what I'm doing and hopefully you enjoy it. All right, so we start on the IFTTT web page. You see I'm logged in in the top right. I'm going to jump over to my applets and I'm going to click new applet. You can see I've built a few already. It may not be apparent, but this is a button. You click it. You're going to choose which service. <laughs> I typed as. So there's four choices here. We're just going to pick a simple phrase. I haven't quite figured out how to use the phrase with the number. For example, turn volume up three or turn volume to 20%. I haven't figured out how to use that. If I do, I'll make a video and I'll share it with everybody. So we've chosen simple phrase. Now, I'm going to choose three different ways we're going to say this phrase. I imagine you could get more than three triggers by just creating another recipe, but that seems like overkill. So this is where it gets a bit more treacherous. The action service we're going to use is called Maker, and this allows you to pass web requests through the internet. There's a warning here saying that there's a slight security vulnerability. So on this page, what we've got is the address of my Cody box. Um, after the HTTP colon slash slash, I've got my device username colon device password. So in this case, it's Cody and pass. That's not my actual username and password. Um, then the at symbol, and then my IP address. In the last video, I showed you how to get your IP address. Then the colon tells you what port. So I'm using port 8080. Then after the slash, tells it what kind of request is coming in. This is just jargon I copied off the internet. I can't explain this as well. So up to this equal sign just tells the system what kind of command it's going to be sending and to what address and with what credentials. So I'm going to jump over to another website. And from here, we can see exactly the command that actually does the work. I found this forum post on a slightly older version of Cody. This is the part that I copied. I'm going to take that in and I've pasted it in after the equal sign. So we can probably spend another time and walk through what all that means. What type of request it is, create action. I get stuck on this step so many times. So often I forget to hit finish. So that's a crucial step. Um, and once you've done that, your applet's been created. 